Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is called More Two-Step Equations. Our objective is to solve equations of the form P times the quantity X plus Q equals R. And you're going, wait, what, what are all those letters, huh? Well, basically, P times the quantity X plus Q equals R. Now, our directions say to solve the equation and check your solution. Well, your instinct here may be simply to distribute, and we could solve it that way. There's nothing wrong with distributing here, except there might be an easier way. If you do distribute, this is 5x plus 30 equals 40. Subtract 30 from both sides. You're left with 5x equals 10. Divide by 5 and divide by 5, and x equals 2. Now, there is an easier way. If we restart with our equation, 5 times x plus 6 equals 40. One thing I'd like you to look at is the number in front of the parentheses, or to the left of the parentheses, the 5, and the number on the other side of the equation, 40, and ask yourself, does 5 go into 40? Well, of course, the answer is yes. So one thing you could do to solve this equation now is simply to divide by 5 on both sides first. This cancels out, and you're left with x plus 6 equals 40 divided by 5 is 8. Then subtract 6 from both sides, and you still get x equals 2. So, yeah, you could use the distributive property, but it may be easier to simply divide by the 5 here first and then subtract. Now, we are asked to check our solution, so when you start a check step, you always start with the original equation, 5 times x plus 6 equals 40. x equals 2, so make your substitution in 5 times 2 plus 6 needs to equal 40. 5 times 8 needs to equal 40, and of course 40 equals 40. So our solution of x equals 2 is correct. What about this equation? 2 thirds times the quantity x minus 5 equals negative 4. Let's rewrite this here. 2 thirds times the quantity x minus 5 equals negative 4. Well, instead of distributing the 2 thirds times the k and the 2 thirds times the negative 5, that gets a little sloppy. And instead of dividing by 2 thirds, let's just multiply by the reciprocal. Let's multiply by 3 halves on both sides. The negative 4 we can write over 1. What happens here, this cancels out, and we're left with k minus 5 equals, well, we can do some cross-simplifying here. That's a 2, and that's a 1. And we're left with negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. And of course, over 1 just is negative 6. Finish this, this equation by adding 5 to both sides. That cancels, and your answer is k equals negative 1. When you go to check your work, 2 thirds times k minus 5 needs to equal negative 4. Make your substitution in for k. You have negative 1 minus 5 equals negative 4. 2 thirds times, let's write this negative 6 over 1, needs to equal negative 4. This is negative 12 over 3 equals negative 4, and of course negative 4 equals negative 4. So our solution of k equals negative 1 is correct. Now what about our writing and solving an equation? Tony buys four shirts at a clearance sale. Each shirt is $3.50 off the regular price. The total is $65. What is the regular price of the shirt? Well, what do we not know? Well, that would be the regular price. So let's set the variable p as regular 
price. Now, what is the cost of one shirt? Well, it's three dollars and fifty cents off the regular price. So we're going to take the regular price p and subtract three dollars and fifty cents. Now he buys four of those, and again, this here represents the price he's paying. So we can put that in parentheses and multiply by four. What is this going to equal? The total cost of sixty-five dollars. Now to solve this like we've been solving the other questions, we can divide by 4 on both sides. We're left with P minus $3.50 equals 65 divided by 4 is $16.25. Add $3.50 to both sides. And the result is the price of a shirt is $19.75. And that's our answer. Now sometimes it is more helpful to solve an equation using the distributive property. When we look at this equation, 3 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 13. Well, If you were to divide by 3 on both sides here, which you could, but you're left with x plus 2 equals 4.3333, and it gets kind of sloppy. And so you can use the distributive property here at any time, really, when the number here and the number here, when this number 3 is not a factor of the number here, 3 is not a factor of 13, it will be just easier to distribute. So if we just take our 3 and distribute, we're left with 3x plus 6 equals 13. Subtract the 6 from both sides. We are left with 3x equals 7. Divide by 3 on both sides. And x equals 7 thirds, which is the same thing as 2 and 1 third. No need for a decimal, just keep it a fraction. So again, most of these equations we can just divide on both sides to start. However, when the number on the outside of the parentheses here, in this case 3, is not a factor of the number over here, which is 13, then actually it will be easier just to use distributive property instead of getting some long fancy decimals. That is it for this lesson. Good luck.